Hello and welcome to this Wallex PAM solution video. This video presents how to provide a secured remote access from outside of your company network to critical assets hosted within your premises. As you will see, thanks to the Wallex Bastion and Access Manager, remote users access critical assets through the Access Manager secured through a web portal in your DMZ. Let's see how that works. So firstly, I'm going to connect to the Access Manager via HTTPS. I'm going to authenticate using LDAP in this case, but it could be local or SAML. And now I'm authenticated, I see a list of authorizations. I can see here under Windows that I'm authorized to connect to two servers. I agree to be bound by the security policy. And the Bastion is authenticating me as the domain admin in this case. Now I'm connected, it's as though it's a typical RDP connection. Only I'm still connecting via the access manager via HTTPS from my remote uh, location. The Bastion is able to put in a set of rules. In this case, I've blocked command prompt. As we can see, the process was blocked. I'm also able to use a, a rule to stop bouncing from one server to another. In this case, I've allowed a connection to anything on the 10.0 network via RDP. And as we can see, the connection has been allowed. However, I have blocked all other RDP connections. So let's try a different network. And there it is, it's been blocked. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to sign out and I'm going to log in with a colleague. And Chad wants to connect onto a Linux box. He's going to connect onto CentOS. We open a shell session. And he is connected as standard. Now, Chad wants to elevate his permission. And we can see it's been unauthorized. So we can put rules on Linux systems as well as RDP Windows sessions as well. So to recap, we offer secured remote access through the Access Manager. We've reduced attack surface with only the HTTPS port needed with an emulated RDP or SSH experience. We offer control of actions of the session from the bastion, including blocking unauthorized applications and blocking bouncing attempts towards other systems.